Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice system of equations x to the power 4 plus x squared y squared plus y to the power 4 is equal to 91 and x squared plus xy plus y squared is equal to 13. Our job is to find all possible values of x and y. So let's start. Let's call this equation equation 1. In this equation, equation 2. And we use this algebraic identity x cubed minus y cubed is equal to x minus y times x squared plus xy plus y squared. We replace this x squared plus xy plus y squared with this value 13. So this will become x cubed minus y cubed is equal to 13 times x minus y. Let's call this equation equation 3. Now we use this algebraic identity x to the power 6 minus y to the power 6 is equal to x squared minus y squared times x to the power 4 plus x squared y squared plus y to the power 4. We replace this x to the power 4 plus x squared y squared plus y to the power 4 with this value 91 from equation 1. So this will become x to the power 6 minus y to the power 6 is equal to 91 times x squared minus y squared. Let's call this equation equation 4. Now we divide the equation number 4 by equation number 3. So this will become x to the power 6 minus y to the power 6 divided by x cubed minus y cubed is equal to 91 times x squared minus y squared divided by 13 times x minus y. Now this x to the power 6 minus y to the power 6 can be written as x cubed whole squared minus y cubed whole squared and uh, by using this algebraic identity a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. This x to the power 6 minus uh, y to the power 6 will become x cubed plus uh, y cubed times uh, x cubed minus y cubed divided by this x cubed minus y cubed is equal to this 13 is 7 times 91. So this will become 7 times by using this identity this x squared minus y squared will become x plus y times x minus y divided by this x minus y. Now this x minus y will be cancelled out with this x minus y and this x cubed minus y cubed will be cancelled out with this x cubed minus y cubed. And we are left with x cubed plus y cubed is equal to 7 times x plus y. Now this x cubed plus y cubed can be factorized as x plus y times x squared minus xy plus y squared is equal to 7 times x plus y. And if we divide both sides by x plus y, this will be cancelled out with this x plus y. And uh, we are left with x squared minus xy plus uh, y squared is equal to 7. Let's call this equation equation 5. 
Now in this equation 5 we add equation 2. Equation 2 is x squared plus xy plus y squared is equal to 13. Equation 2 is x squared plus xy plus y squared is equal to 13. This is equation 2. And we add these two equations. This x squared plus x squared will become 2x squared. And this negative xy will be cancelled out with this positive xy. This y squared plus uh, y squared will become plus uh, 2y squared is equal to 7 plus 13, 20. Now we can factor out 2 from these two terms. Uh, 2 as common factor in bracket left uh, x squared plus uh, y squared is equal to 20. If we divide both sides by 2, this implies that uh, x squared plus uh, y squared is equal to 10. Let's call this equation equation 6. Now in this equation 2, we put this value of x squared plus y squared 10. Equation 2 is uh, x squared plus uh, xy plus uh, y squared is equal to 13. Now we replace this uh, x squared plus uh, y squared with this value 10. So this equation will become x times y plus 10 is equal to 13. We subtract 10 from both sides. So this get cancelled and we get the value of uh, x times y is equal to 3. Let's call this equation equation 7. Now from this uh, equation number 6, uh, equation number 6 is uh, x squared plus uh, y squared is equal to 10. This uh, x squared plus uh, y squared is equal to x plus y whole squared minus 2xy is equal to this 10. In this equation, we replace this x, y with this value 3. So, this will become x plus y whole squared minus 2 times 3 is equal to 10. And uh, x plus y whole squared minus uh, 2 times 3 will become 6 is equal to 10. We add 6 to both sides. So this get cancelled and we are left with x plus y whole squared is equal to 16. Now we take a square root of both sides of this equation. So this square will be cancelled out with this square root and we get the value of x plus y is equal to plus minus 4. It means that uh, x plus y is equal to 4 and uh, x plus y is equal to negative 4. And we recall equation 7. Equation 7 is uh, x times y is equal to 3. Equation 7 is uh, x times y is equal to 3 x times y is equal to 3. So we have uh, two systems of equations. Uh, first we solve this one. From this equation if we find the value of y this will become y is equal to 4 minus x. And in this equation we replace this y with this value 4 minus x. This will become x times 4 minus x is equal to 3 and x times 4 is 4x four x. x times negative x negative x squared is equal to 3 move this 3 to the left hand side and rearrange these terms negative x squared plus 4 times x minus 3 is equal to 0 since this x squared is a negative 
we multiply both sides of this equation by negative 1. So this will become x squared minus 4 times x plus 3 is equal to 0. Now this quadratic equation is factorable, we write this x squared and we split this negative 4x as a negative 3 times x minus x plus 3 is equal to 0. From these two terms uh, we can factor out x, in bracket left x minus 3 and from these two terms uh, we can factor out negative 1, in bracket left x minus 3 is equal to 0. This x minus 3 is a common factor so we factor out this uh, x minus 3 and uh, in bracket left uh, this x and this negative 1 x minus 1 is equal to 0. From here either this uh, x minus 3 is equal to 0 or this uh, x minus 1 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of x is equal to 3 and from this equation we get the value of x is equal to 1. Now to find the value of y we use this equation y is equal to 4 minus x. y is equal to 4 minus x. y is equal to 4 minus x. So when x is equal to 3 then we get the value of y is equal to 4 minus 3 is 1. When x is equal to 1 then we get the value of y is equal to 4 minus 1 is 3. So when x is equal to 3 then y is equal to 1. And when x is equal to 1 then y is equal to 3. Now we solve the second system. From this equation, if we find the value of y, this will be equal to negative 4 minus x. And in this equation, we replace this y with this negative 4 minus x. This will become x times negative 4 minus x is equal to 3. x times negative 4, negative 4x. And x times negative x, negative x squared. Move this 3 to the left hand side, this will become negative 3 is equal to 0. Now we rearrange these terms and multiply both sides of this equation by negative 1. So negative 1 times negative x squared will become positive x squared. Negative 1 times negative 4 plus 4x. Negative 1 times negative 3 plus 3 is equal to 0. This quadratic equation is factorable x squared will remain same. We split this 4x as 3 times x plus x plus 3 is equal to 0. From these two terms we can factor out x in bracket left x plus 3. From these two terms we can factor out plus 1 in bracket left x plus 3 is equal to 0. Now this x plus 3 is a common factor so we factor out this uh, x plus uh, 3 and uh, in bracket left uh, x plus 1 is equal to 0. Either this expression x plus 3 is equal to 0 or this expression x plus 1 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of x is equal to negative 3 and from this equation we get the value of x is uh, negative 1. To find the values of y we use this equation y is equal to negative 4 minus x. y is equal to negative 4 minus x. y is equal to negative 4 minus x. When x is equal to negative 3 then y will be equal to negative 1. And when x is equal to negative 1, then y will be equal to negative 3. So from this case, uh, we get uh, two pairs, uh, x is equal to negative 3, y negative 1, x is equal to negative 1, y negative 
3 we have two pairs of solutions 